My name is Jesse. I am a combat veteran. I was deployed to Iraq with the Army for 18 months. And during this time, I was tasked with convoy security. I saw a lot of action. And when I came home, I felt very robotic and unable to connect with society. And I felt very depressed and in a dark spot. I was at my grandfather's funeral and I had a very close relationship with him. And I wanted to be sad. I wanted to feel emotion. I saw people around me crying and I longed for that. I desired to feel any emotion, but it just didn't come. Uh, things got worse to the point where I was in the shower and had the thought that if I shot myself here, it would be less of a mess for my family to clean up. And at that point, I knew something had to change. So I started to investigate why I was feeling this way. And it has to do with neurotransmitters. If you wake up for work late, um, you might have uh, what's called a sympathetic outflow, a release of adrenaline. So you, you scramble, you might, your heart might increase, you might get shaky or sweaty, and, and it's just uh, a, a flight response. You need to hurry. So imagine this um, response, but amplified when someone is actively trying to take your life. And then stretch this out over an entire deployment. Mine was 18 months long. Your body would not function with a level of adrenaline in your heart beating 140 times a minute for a year and a half. So what happens is your neurotransmitters become upregulated. It means it takes more of a response in order to feel anything. So when you come home, there's nothing that's going to trigger a, th a threshold response. And the neurotransmitters don't just reset themselves. So that's where the numbness and robotic feelings come from. So I started looking into alternatives um, from just antidepressants because all they did was numb me down to the point where I wasn't a threat to myself. While I do believe I received adequate care from the VA, um, their version of a success story is if you're gainfully employed and are not a uh, a harm to yourself. You may cry yourself to sleep every night and have zero quality of life, but that's a success story in their eyes and I wasn't willing to live with that. So I started doing research into plant medicine and I felt drawn to ayahuasca. Ayahuasca is a very powerful medicine um, that allows deep healing and introspection and healing of trauma. It is not a cure. It is a, a very valuable tool, but you still are required to do the hard work. I say that if you feel like this, maybe something you're interested in, to please look into it seriously because it saved my life and I believe it can save others as well. The first time I did ayahuasca, it was very gentle and loving. Um, I've, I've never, never felt a true love like I felt under ayahuasca. And it was a journey, about six hours. And it just showed me and taught me things from a perspective um, that I do not believe originated from my consciousness because the teachings were so profound. Uh, I do believe it originated uh, from somewhere else. In my experience, antidepressants are a bandage covering a deep wound, and that's all it is. Uh, if you if you can heal that wound, um, then you can truly live. So for me, even with antidepressants, it it just it made me feel very dull and, and numbed down. Um, I did not have joy or, or happiness. And there was always something missing inside of me. And I think that 
Some veterans, unfortunately, try to fill that void with drugs or alcohol. But if you feel frustrated or angry or a lot of internal dialogue and just general turbulence, I would suggest that you very strongly consider plant medicine uh, because it, it does allow you to heal from within. It exposes your trauma and shows you the, the path of healing. It shows you what you need to do in order to truly live. I believe we were put here on earth to enjoy every aspect of life. And ayahuasca has definitely helped me do that.